All right, I'm going to straight up tell you that I am old enough to remember a time when Rosé was not cool. That time is no longer. We're doing a whole episode on Rosé featuring this wine right here. This is the Trian Rosé 2022 Vintage. Under screw chop because that's how we roll. And if you are drinking this wine with me, well, let's get in your glass. Make sure it's nice and cold because that's where we want our Rosé. Not too, too cold though. Woo, look at that color. Okay, let's talk about Rosé. Rosé is one of those wines that I think has thankfully become very beloved, but also sort of misunderstood, right? We have a lot of different rosés that exist across the entire planet now. They are not just coming from the south of France and Provence. They're coming from everywhere. And this one in particular is very, very special. I think it's a wine that a lot of us in the industry knew about and knew was sort of attached to some very special people. If you're not familiar with who is uh, overseeing this wine, it is in fact Jeremy Says from Domaine du Jac and... Aubert de Villain of Domaine Romani Conti. So pretty impressive names that are affiliated with this wine. Um, look at this lovely color. Although I will say, I think rosé, the color rosé is probably one of the things that uh, gets misdiagnosed the most. The rosé color is not indicative of sweetness. It's not even always indicative of body. Sometimes, you know, it just relates to the the grape that was used to make it. And in this case, we have a very classic blend of Grenache, Syrah, and Cinso, and even a little bit of Merlot. When we smell rosé, you know, you should be smelling fruit. It is a wine that is intended for easy drinking. There are very few rosés made for serious nature drinking. Uh, rosé is fun. It's delicious. This is a wine that I think immediately you should be smelling papaya and passion fruit. You know, it smells very tropical, but also there's something like a little umami under there too. It's kind of salty. But here's what I love the most and what I find about rosés from this part of the world is that they're a little creamy. They're a little textured. They've got acidity. It's hiding underneath it there, but that creaminess is allowing that acidity to just sort of relax. And why I love that is I don't have to have food with it. I can just drink it. Love that. Of course, food would be delicious with this. But for me, rosé is one of those wines that you can have with or without it. There was a time when I said that rosé was the denim of wine, meaning it could go with a lot of different things. You could dress it up. You could dress it down. You could wear it with pretty much whatever. Um, and I think that's still true. I think rosé is definitely that wine. It is that wine that works with a lot of different things. So if you wanted to have it with food, you could definitely do that because – Rosé has structure. It is macerated with the skins. Therefore, it has a little bit of tannin. Not a lot, but a little. And it's got acidity. So you do have kind of the best of all worlds going on with rosé. And this one in particular, you can just feel is so incredibly well made. I mean, you feel the balance of that wine. The alcohol is not sticking out. The acidity is there, but you have that creaminess to sort of give it that really lovely texture. And dangerously, I mean, this wine, all of the things that I talked about in the nose are carrying right through to the palate. So that passion fruit, papaya, guava, melon. I mean, you could go to your grocery store, hit that section, and throw a dart, and you'd probably find it in this glass. Um, it's all there. And I think that's what makes rosés like this so special is, like, it really just does feel – like summer. It feels relaxed and easy and approachable. Um, for me, if I am going to eat with this wine, it's got to be easy. It's got to be crudité or cheese or something that like is snacky. Because I think what's really fun about rosé is you have all of these different things that it can that it can express. And when you put it with lots of different types of food, you get to see all of those different characteristics come out. And that is what I'm enjoying so much in this wine. This is super special. It's a wine that I'm really excited to have had um, in the shipment. It's probably, you know, for some of you, wine that you are maybe already familiar with. I know for those of us in the industry, this is a wine that's become a staple at our parties when we're going to our friend's house, when we are invited to pool parties. This is the rosé a lot of us bring because it's delicious and we all know that, um, you know, when it's affiliated with two pretty big name burgundy houses, it's kind of hard to go wrong, right? I hope you're all enjoying this wine. I hope you're all enjoying this episode of the podcast where we talk about all things rosé and summertime and uh, how to look good doing it. Mm -hmm. 